Fellow peers and esteemed professors, it is with great privilege and gratitude that I get to discuss a topic near and dear to my heart and one that greatly affects all American citizens. Voter apathy. Trust me when I say I get it. I'm a political science major who couldn't tell you who a congressman are, who in 2008 drove a friend to an election booth but did not vote myself out of uncertainty, who in 2012 voted for somebody else. The only time I was educated going in to vote was on propositions and initiatives because League of Women voters, voters had come to a history class and presented what I felt to be valuable, objective information. Also recently, the one time I wanted to find voting information about a former state assemblyman and state senator, I couldn't find any. I'm a political science major. How then could I not understand the public's low level of political understanding and involvement? Understanding is a key word because I stand before you today as a victim of voter apathy. I choose the word victim because I've concluded there, this is something happening to us, then it dawned on me. It should not be so difficult to access valuable, objective information. With an efficient means of exchanging information, we can begin to have a productive dialogue. I don't know about the rest of you in this room, but I crave constructive dialogue. Since I can remember my first political discussions with, say, 15 years ago, I had never been finished a single discussion about anything. Let's take immigration, for example. You can have one site presenting all the facts, all the studies, all the prior laws, legislation, whatever. The other site presenting whatever. From beginning to end, all facts, you think at the end of that discussion, you'd be able to come up with some kind of proposal, some kind of, maybe we should try this, or no. We have never finished a single discussion about anything. People will start talking about something, never finish, start talking about something else, never finish that, nothing gets resolved and pisses me off. <laughs> the problem is our focus. We need to focus our attention. Without further ado, I present to you my